hearing from the brother of the man at the center of a patient abuse case at Connecticut's Whiting Forensic Hospital. This week, a judge approved a massive settlement between the state and Al Shahadi, the brother, for $9 million. It's the largest settlement the state's ever paid to an individual in history. Al's brother, William Shahadi, was committed to the hospital in 1995 after being found not guilty by reason of insanity in the killing of their father in Greenwich. In 2017, the CEO of Connecticut Valley Hospital told Al Shahadi his brother was being moved to a different unit because he was being abused at the hands of workers at the state-run facility. They had started out thinking it was one incident and Every time they reviewed another day of video, they found more stuff, and then it was a three alarm fire. And the evidence of that of it going back years is is so disturbing uh, because it's letters that he wrote. So he would write to his chief psychiatrist, and the letters in his handwritten scrawl, which looks like an eight year old, says, "I feel like I'm not loved." In video released by the Connecticut Legal Rights Project, you can see Shahadi being abused by staff. His attorney says nurses would gyrate in Shahadi's face, throw food at him, force him to wear a diaper on his head, wake him up, wake him up in the middle of the night to torture him. Fifty incidents over just a 30-day period were captured on camera. Ten employees were arrested and nearly three dozen workers were fired. Al Shahadi says after the state of Connecticut closed psychiatric hospitals in the 90s, it promised to use the money that it would save on supportive resident homes for those with mental illness. He says that didn't happen and the state has failed people like his brother. It's not even just that Whiting failed him. It's the system that let him be in a position where he was so unsupported that he decompensated um, and got down to his worst behavior uh, when if there had been appropriate supportive housing, I can't prove this, but I'm pretty convinced my father would have died of natural causes sometime later. And my brother's life may not have been totally normal, but he would have not gone through the horror that he's gone through the last 20 something years at Whiting and would not be the psychotic, totally out of touch with reality person that he is now. Shahadi is still at the hospital and battles multiple physical illnesses on top of severe mental illness. Al Shahadi says he wants to eventually use the settlement money to support organizations that provide housing services for those living with mental illness. The attorney general's office says this is a very difficult case and it hopes everyone can move forward now that it's resolved.